what's going on ladies and gentlemen we've got an exciting video but if you're tuning in for the first time in a while as you may or may not see we got some new fire merch big lawn guy she oh look at the shoe hat okay oh and then i got big lawn guy and then you gotta check out the back here folks check this out Mo, ho, and blow, folks. Beefcake Lawnscaping merch is now available. All Beefcake merch is now available. Everything you've seen, it's been launched for like a week or two. You gotta let them dogs in there. They're freaking pissed. But in case you're just tuning in for the first time, I wanna let you guys know it is still available and it'll be linked down below if you wanna check it out. We've got an exciting video. Where are they at? There they are. Get them, go get them, go get them, go get them, go get them. Go get them, go get them. Oh God, go get them. Go, where's the bird? Dead bird, find the bird. Go get them, go get them. My dog is a literal crackhead. I don't know why you two are so excited right now. We are getting ready for duck season, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, new blind, who dis? We gotta see if we can get this thing put together. We've got rain in the forecast tomorrow. So I think tomorrow we're gonna go take the tank down to the farm and Banjo was the millet plug. He went out and bought some millet actually for his farm and I was like, hey, can I have some? Cause I forgot to order some. And he's like, yeah, I'm not planting millet for a while. You can have mine. So I'm buying the millet seed from Banjo. He's gonna bring it tomorrow. We're gonna go out and spread it because we're doing it prior to the rain. Hopefully the rain will allow the seed to fall in the cracks of the dirt, get good seed to soil contact, you know, farming things and grow some millet for the ducks. And hopefully that'll do some attractiveness stuff for the ducks. So, but today's objective is to get this sucker built and ready for duck season. So with that being said, you guys stay tuned. You missed an adventure. I will say, if you guys at home really enjoy super expensive puzzles that have no directions, basically no directions, missing hardware, and just, I don't even, structurally makes no sense, this might be the blind for you folks. It was the worst blind I've ever attempted to put, like by far. I can't dog it too bad because maybe once it's put together, it's a very functional blind, but it didn't make any sense. We were missing lots of pieces. The instructions didn't make any sense. I mean, it took Zach and I three and a half hours just to get it to this point. It makes no sense why they don't just ship these like welded together. Why do I have to put 96 bolts and nuts together just to have a, the the that's what I'm saying. The box are huge. The box was really small. I could understand yeah. it. No, no, the box, like you got to help us out. Okay. You can't just be shipping us millions of pieces. Lucy, you know what I'm saying? This is for you, Lucy. This is so you can go hunting. You got to help us put this thing together. So far, I would not recommend buying this to be honest. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. It's a major, major pain. Now, if we had four or five beefcakes who have built several of these before, we could probably get the whole thing knocked out in two to three hours, but that's still a lot of beefcake power to get this sucker built. Like there's those supports. There's supposed to be three of them. There's only two of them. I had to go and actually find some bolts in my shop for this because they didn't send enough bolts for those. It's a doozy. It is in fact a doozy. And now, you know, weatherman, think about this. You have one job in life, right? To predict the weather. And you said it's going to rain tomorrow. And then you walk outside and it looks like this. You have one job. I just don't get it. I don't. You can land a man on the moon in 1969, Banjo. But in 2021, you can't predict whether there's going to be clouds or not. Are you sure it actually happened though? There's a lot of people that don't think it happened. Green screens, man. I, I don't know. I, okay, self-driving cars. Yeah, those exist, but you can't tell me if there's gonna be a cloud in the sky or not tomorrow. That's tough. Just saying. I feel like they could step up their game. So we're not gonna go actually plant the millet today. We're, we're gonna try it. We're trying to get it to like throw it down before the rain. Otherwise like birds eat it and stuff, right? Like, isn't that the strat? Like don't birds eat the seed unless it like, if it's on the top. So like rain will help it like fall through the cracks a little bit. So we're trying to like kind of time it with the rain. So today's objective, honestly, just figure this. It, it might take us all day at this rate. I thought we were gonna be able to put this thing together in like an hour or two and then head down to the farm. Not gonna happen. We're gonna finish putting this sucker together. And then tomorrow we're hopefully gonna go spread some milk before the rain. You guys stay tuned. What's going on in here, boys? 
crouching around. Cr crouching around? Listen, folks, I'm not here to dog on this blind, all right? I'm giving an honest opinion. For what it cost, it wasn't cheap. It looks good. I will say it looks good. You see Zach here, he is not as tall as Yao Ming, believe it or not. What are you, 5'11"? Five, 5'11", five, 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 like a normal height. 5'10", 5'11", 5'9". We're all like right in that normal-ish height. Um, you went this far to build and design a duck blind. If it has a roof and it's got this nice floor and it's got all this metal bolts, nuts, and it, you know, good for life kind of thing, like just make it tall enough for somebody under six foot to stand up. Is that too much to ask? Like, I get it. You sit down and when you stand up, you to shoot, you're gonna pop out of this hole. So like, I get that, right? Like you're gonna- that, Yeah, now you gotta walk out. Yeah. You can't just stand no, up. No, you can't just stand up. You, you kind of have to walk, which, 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 which is just minor details. But when you're in there trying to stretch or pick up your stuff and walk out, give, give us a demonstration. If you're on that side and that's your exit, what do, what do you guys look like? Yeah, see, you see there's, why? Why, why? Gonna We're gonna, band's just gonna blow us back out again. We can't be having that during duck season, folks, okay? So again, I'm trying to give you guys my honest opinion on this thing. I'd give it like a, maybe like a six out of 10. It's workable. Well, it, but it, I mean, they could have made it better it, real it, easy. It, it, yeah, no, minor, minor thing. The roof yeah. needs to be up. I think 96 bolts and nuts is a little excessive and I feel like they could weld it and ship it in some more bigger pieces. I mean, it would take three beefcakes. I bet we could rebuild another one in maybe four hours. Yeah. So, like three beefcakes who have done it already, four hours. That's a long time, dude. Like for something that, and like their directions were not great. We had to redo a bunch of stuff and we were missing parts. It just overall, I'm not sure. Lucy, there you go. Go get him. Fetch. Oh, you got it. Go get him. There you go, Lucy. Go. No, that's your door. No, she says, give me the human door. Lucy, you gotta watch the birds. Come watch the birds. Go get him. Fetch the birds. No, we're not taking you hunting. All right. What if we took Millie hunting for the first time? It'd be kind of, she'd be funny, dude. She would be so funny. Like, she's just just a little large. Lucy, look at, look, at, look at her. She was literally about, fetch, fetch, watch her. Fetch. Huh. See, that's what I'm saying. It gets you a dog that does one of that. That's an expensive dog toy. Yeah, it's an expensive dog toy. Anyways, I would say maybe six might be generous. Five, five. Functionality, all they got to do is raise the roof, raise the roof, and, and, and that's it. Otherwise, it's good. Building it in directions and hardware confusionness. They got some work to do on this, but we are going to actually work. We can't take this today. We have to take it in two days because tomorrow when we go and plant the millet, we've got to take the tank down there to plant the millet with. And then once the millet's planted, we're probably gonna give it, I'd say let's give it like a week after all this rain, see where the seeds are. Did they get washed away? Did they start sprouting a little bit? Did the birds eat them all? Like kind of do whatever. And then in probably a week or so, we'll, we'll drag this thing down there as we're getting closer to hunting season. We were not gonna set it up. We're gonna at least get it down there. And then we're gonna check out the millet and see, did it sprout do we need to plant more will the rain work or not we've been waiting for rain we've been in a massive drought so we want to throw it out right before rain just to maximize the seed to soil contact so stay tuned shoo made to the farm folks ah nice and hot Freaking steamy out here, folks. We are burning up. We are ready to start prepping for some duck hunt. That is kind of the plan right now. The grass, well, actually, the beans. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. The beans are actually coming in nicely all right around here But then the all the grasses are starting to kind of grow up on the berm What I'm interested in is to see what does it look like on the other side because it should even grow up even more Obviously, we're like way way ahead of season. The tank is here We're gonna probably leave it down here since now we're getting closer to duck season There's no reason to have it at the house and then banjo provided some millet. You're like a uh, Kirk on hay But you're you're the millet plug. I'm the millet seed man. He's the millet plug right there So we got some millet we got some spreaders no guarantees if we're gonna spread any of the millet today We don't know what it looks like on the inside we haven't I'm trying to think when's the last time we looked inside this pond last fall probably yeah. it's been like six months so like no one knows what it's gonna look like inside there it could be dirt which is good well actually it's gonna be mud because it, we got like three inches of rain last night in which if i would have known we were getting that much rain i would have planted yesterday but then the, the storm came so no, i mean it's good because everything's gonna be muddy which is hopefully gonna create good seed to soil contact and then we're supposed to get if you can see down there those clouds over there we're supposed to get some more rain so that's kind of what we're like in a pinch right now like let's just get out there and get some stuff planted and we'll worry about whatever we're doing the rest of the video and getting ready for duck season later. We just get some seed on the ground if there's a spot. There's also corn inside of this pond. We were gonna go mow it down, take the bush hog, mow it down. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to get the skidletter in there now. Unless we have like a complete drought for the next month, it's gonna be tough. Cause it, well, the thing is if we mow it down, that means we only got like what? Well, I guess for big duck season. Does corn grow in water? Have we, have we figured that out yet? Don't think so. If it don't, we're gonna have some midget corn. So we may be better off just leaving, leaving it. The corn. 
corn. Yeah, we may not, we, we may not, because like, think about this, we wait a month, and then we take out the corn and replant corn, and then we have to flood it for teal season, which is September. We're gonna have some little midget corn, which isn't gonna do much good. So that's kind of what we're going out there for. If the corn is in decent condition, meaning it's not rotted, moldy, nasty, I want it to be able to provide a food source for the ducks. Granted, it's a year old though. I don't know what it's like. I've never left the corn cob out for a year. So maybe it's good, maybe it's not. If it's good, we're gonna leave it. If it's bad, we'll probably just mow it and then plant millet, you know, because millet only has a 60 day maturity life span. So it needs to be 60 days from the time you plant it to the time that you actually flood it is 60 days, which is pretty much looking like that's about where we're at as of right now. So anyways, that's kind of plan. I'm gonna grab some boots, throw some boots on, jump in the tank. Banjo's got some seed. We got some spreaders right in there and we're just gonna go on a little quick adventure and see what, see what we're dealing with. Is the corn good? Is there places to put millet? Is there wild millet? Which is like barnyard grass is another word that I've heard. What kind of millet did you get? Uh, it's, it's a mix, but mostly Japanese millet. Japanese millet? It's got some other stuff in there. It's made for ducks. Really? Yeah. So it's, it's made for the little ducklings. This is all about management. We want to provide a good food source for them and then right when they think they found the honey hole, <gasps> <laughs> it's it's duck opener and we just start wham bamming them. So that's kind of the plan. That's the rundown. We'll see you guys inside the pond. Yeah. Rip. There's no dirt. There's no dirt at all. Uh-oh, we might not be planting much, boys. Sheesh. It might not be a bad idea to leave just natural. Just, just let, flood it. Just let it we rip. Do that. We rotate fields every year back yeah. home. We'll have like just corn one rip. year and old corn, just let it grow up. Oh, and that flood corn that. doesn't look too hot no, either, man. corn looks yikes. Dead. This might be a botch of but a little. But you got plenty of cover to put a blind right in the yeah, middle. Yeah, 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 plenty. Yikes, I did, I did not, for some reason, I didn't expect the, the grass to grow as much there. Because we dug it out. Last year, if you guys missed these videos, we dug like a channel. When you get like below the surface of like topsoil, it's usually kind of hard to grow stuff. I mean, nature has its way of really just covering up that mud, and I don't think we're planting much now not today i don't least. think it ain't growing there well we'll see how much water's over there there's look at that that's all filled look we can just hunt that look there's a pond right there that's where i took all the dirt from we took that dirt and built this berm up let's go see how much water's inside the pond too bad i can't tell if we're gonna die or not let's go walk down there you be all right what about to your left is that better should i go down at a 90 degree yeah, right. okay all right let's let's move that's good oh yeah there she is there she is it must be fairly dry if this grass is growing up. I mean, it's not now because we had rain. So there's no water here though. I mean, that's probably a good thing. We are going to be putting in a well. Speaking of that, this might be who's calling me. <laughs> Look at that timing. Hey, what's up? All right, well, the well we're gonna put in here is gonna be a little bit delayed, which is okay, it's okay, we got time. We don't, we're not in a huge rush. Um, but we do have a cool video planned with him and it, it'll be it'll be pretty neat, that's all I'm gonna say for now. But this was dirt last year, this is where I was gonna, I was gonna plant some strips of millet and then maybe like hunt in that pocket over there. We haven't planted anything yet, just wanna clarify that. Not, nothing's been planted, so, you know, there's that barnyard and grass that looks like millet, that's all wild. This is actual Japanese millet that we're gonna plant that doesn't, it's not supposed to come back year after year, right? No, Supposedly, it doesn't. Which is annual, right? It's an annual or yeah. perennial or, it don't come back regardless. It's like corn corn don't grow back clearly our corn looks like poop speaking of that let's go check it out she this is the most depressing looking corn you ever darn did see oh, look at that we need to plant it in this stuff we can leave the corn sand if we want to you plant corn or plant millet millet really you don't think we should try to plant corn you think it's probably too or, I mean, it's probably too hard this year i think we're gonna run out of time but like that stuff will take millet good really Between just as is yeah really okay so we may have to we may not be able to plant corn this year we, we've already late to the game i feel like that happens every year it's like oh yeah we're gonna have all these cool food plots and then all of a sudden it's like hey you're supposed to plant like three months ago sorry i was fishing dude Jeez, it's like these seasons overlap too much but corn this is last year's corn so i would say just leave it huh and just plant you don't not you should like don't mow it you think it's better to better to leave it than mow it so you're thinking leave it and leave all this other random grass too. Just, just yeah. call, call it good. So we could do that today. I mean, we could plant this. I mean, we're gonna have to knock down some of these because we're gonna have to drive the tank or we could walk it. Yeah, we could just walk it. That's a, actually a good idea. Yeah. You think broadcast a bunch of milk in this. So this would be food. You think we should hunt like on the backside of this burn for a north wind and like this be the kill hole? Yeah, because yeah. that's what we did last year we designed it for that if you guys remember last year though we flooded it once and it dried up before big duck season we shot some teal and where we shot those teal was way on the other corner so for teal season that's probably going to be the strat but we're looking this is like the big duck hole right here i could get this mowed down to where we would have a good kill hole right here yeah. do you think you'd put your blind back on the north side for a north wind to come over your back or what are you thinking 
So that's north. Okay. So if you're hunting, they would be coming. They would come and land right where you are. Yeah. Like they'd fly from over here and they'd be landing like this. Food, Which I was gonna say, this actually works good because it would make sure they don't. They're yeah. probably not gonna land in that. They'll take a wing out or something. You know, like they're gonna land over here and then swim into it. Oh, yeah. They're not gonna land full speed into corn. Yeah, I wouldn't assume. Maybe they would. Around. And then if you want, you could put some millet over there. I said we could we could plant mill on that back strip. Leave the kitty cat tails. I think the kitty cat tails are good because if for some reason they're not cooperating, you can go stand in the kitty yeah, cat tails. I mean, shoot them. Yeah, oh west yeah. On a west when you could be good and for teal wind don't honestly matter all that much either so i mean wherever the teal are is where you're hunting you know for mallards late season more you got to kind of play the wind just a little bit more but yeah i mean we designed it last year to hunt this pocket we never were able to because this is high and dry all of our low-lying spots i mean because you do also have a spot on the other side of these this corn too so maybe you just do millet and then it's just straight food or you could leave it and you could have a strip because that strip runs all the way down and that fills with water i'd make these two like your the main, kill the main kill holes. For north and south yep. wind, rest of it food. Rest of it food. Leave the pocket down there for a south wind. Pocket here for the north wind. Leave the kitty cat tails. The long strip that has all the grass. You think just just full blown food on that whole strip on that yep. east side? I would say so. And then banjos over there. You would you want to hunt that? Okay. Well, let's go drive over there and see what it looks like. Well, over here. Okay, so we were just over there. Now we're over here. So this we we just had a brainstorming session off camera trying to figure out what do we do. Last year, our initial design, if we thought it wasn't going to leak, was our south pockets down there and our north pockets right where we came from. And then this was just like extra. No one really knew because there was some corn there. So we're going to probably keep it the same strat, which is you have one hole for the north, one hole for the south. If you guys are new to duck hunting, you don't really know what we're talking about. Like if it's a north wind, you want the wind over your back, ideally. Can you kill ducks on different winds? Sure. But if it's over your back, they always land into the wind most of the time teal definitely defy that rule but you know for the most part rule of thumb they land into the wind and so if they land into the wind and the wind's over your back that means they land in your face which means you shoot them in the head plus 100. If the wind's blowing from the south, you'll be up against there, and then they come from the north and land to the south. And so you want to set up, and those are your most common winds. When it's really cold, like November through December, it's usually a north wind. But then for teal season, for September, it's usually a south wind. Sometimes you get the curveball thrown in there, one or the other. But that's what you plan for. North wind, south wind. We've always hunted that way, and it seems to always work. You can do cross winds, but then you're dealing with cross shots, and you just gotta be Chris Kyle if you're gonna be hitting those suckers. I, I mean, I've hit them, but it's a little bit more challenging. If you wanna set it up a little more dummy proof, you want a north and a south. So this is a nice kill hole for the north we are thinking do we leave it have it just filled with water and make it a kill hole maybe but we were going to put millet in the corn and then over there for our south this was going to be millet as well so we're thinking like well if there's one on the south and one on the north they're pretty close together plus if you're on the north over there and this is a wide open pocket these are 40 50 yards apart you probably don't need two big open pockets you want more food than open water because if you run out of food then the ducks leave it's like a deer eating all your beans they don't come back right so we want more food than not uh, especially since this is our first you're planting we want to make sure it takes as much as possible we've only got two bags of seed which should do two acres and this whole thing's like four so we may not get completely done but we're thinking cover this up with seed cover the corn up with seed all of this to mill it until you see them little orange stickers right there and all that's going to be food and so that back south is going to be wide open you don't want to plant where you're hunting okay you want that to be open so the ducks can land and then they can swim into the food this whole pocket will be food pocket will be food food and then one pocket to shoot one pocket to shoot where we first came in where you saw the grass where that lane was. I don't think we're gonna have enough seed, but ideally that's gonna be all food as well. Basically load this entire thing up with millet. It's gonna be millet, corn, cattails, and then two little circles that are wide open for the duckies to land. So let's get to spread. Some of you guys might be thinking, well, are you just gonna walk? Do you have a little spreader? No, we've got a redneck duck spreader with the name Banjo. This is how lazy guys spread seed. So instead of having like a fancy little spreader on the back, Banjo is my fancy spreader. All right, give, it, give her a test spin. Throw it at like one and just give her a quick yeet. What happens here? Huh? Really? What's going, what's going on here? It's hitting this. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to just do a little. Yep. Yeah. Now you got it. Now you got it. Give her help. Yeah. Try to open her a little more. Just a little oh, bit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean, we could always start low and make like 10 passes if need yeah. be. But yeah. you want to make sure you have a nice even covering. So don't want to go too much. It's better to do it slow. Like, don't yeah. just rip yeah. on it. Just slow. Just get slow, slow and steady once the race. All right. Well, let's get to spread. Good pace? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. How's that going? Bumpy. You killing it? Yeah, yeah, there, set her down like that. Is she doing too hot? It's hard to see because they're so small, but I mean, hold it up uh, flatter. flatter. Yeah, flat. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, so just try to keep it yeah. flat okay. as much as you can. There you there. go. There you go. Big bump. Yeah, I'm glad I'm sitting now. I'd be in the water. Doing 
right still? Yeah. I don't know how well it'll take on this. What do you think? All that grass laying down? Yeah. I don't think it'll take very well. You don't think it'll take in this? I don't think it'll, the seed won't get to the, to the, to the mud. To the dirt? Yeah. That's right. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. We just have a really big hole here. All right, I'll go back out to the yeah, I didn't realize that all, all the dead grass was like down like that. Yeah, it'd probably have to be pretty tough for this sucker to grow like this. But, I mean, you're not going through very much. I would spread it. I think we're okay. I think we have plenty. I would spread it lightly, but we'll focus yeah. on the better spot just in case. Because yeah. maybe it if, if it rains and it, it can soak it down, it, yeah. might. it might. It so, might. So, I would just keep, keep spreading. I'm a puke. Who we'll let this guy drive? Do not. We're getting close to the end. Less than a quarter left, probably. All right, we're empty. Shoo! You think that's more than an acre? I'm not good with that stuff. I think that was probably, I mean, if this thing's, let's say this thing's three and a half, I think is what it is. We, we didn't go anywhere over there. We didn't go anywhere in there. We didn't go inside the corn. I think that's no more than an acre. It's, Less I think than it's a third of this thing. Yeah, I would. Like that. Yeah, yeah, true. That's good math. Yeah, true. I would say about an acre's worth. Do you feel confident in that amount? It was throwing a lot. And I mean, we still have a little bit still of that bag. Still got a little bit. All right, I'll switch places with you. Okay. You're on drive duty. I would just take me wherever you want milk to for sure grow okay. and I'll spread her. Let me shorten this up, hang on. Oh god, yeah. Give her hell. Yeah, about to throw up. He said the same thing. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. It's like weird. It is weird. You really feel like you're gonna throw up. Yeah. There we go. There we go. It got shut to one. I was like, what the heck? Now I'm taking it right to the face. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, it doesn't taste good. Now we're gonna get some millet growing. All right, hang on. Dad, I'm covered in seeds. Oh, I know. Too bad you're not soil. Yeah, I would grow like a weed. It feels heavier than it should. I don't know, it's empty. I mean, if that don't grow, I don't know what will. I'm covered in seeds now. I think that'll work pretty good though. So we got most of the open pocket. We can always walk it over one more time, but I think let's, let's get out on foot, start spreading around that corn. All right, what is what, Banjo? Let's hear it. What's the red stuff? That's the, the buck. Uh, no, no cheat, no cheat. Buck brush. Buck brush. I'm you guessing that's because they said there's less of that. So I'm you guessing the little ones is were a millet. In school, weren't you? Oh yeah. 100%. You were the type of guy. Uh, were you the type of guy to buy those transparent folders, or is that just me? No, oh, I've never seen those. Like folders that you'd put all your paperwork in. They're like colored. Okay. But they're like low key transparent. If you got like a yellow oh, or like so an you orange, put, like your... you put it and you just have to like press down. I'm not trying to give you a scissors. You just like set it up on your desk and you're just like press down. And you're like seven. No, Us just me. Private school kids didn't do that. Bro, I always forget you went to private school. <laughs> what a sad life. You never got to do all the ratchet stuff I did. All right, well, let's fill these bags. Was work. that right, though, Zach? Was the small stuff? Japanese I have no idea. Because it said it was like mostly millet, and then there was a few other things. So that's my guess. Because so I the millet's like probably the brown. Then there's like a little like blue things. colored thing, and then obviously the orange ones. Duck candy. Duck candy. All right, get her filled up, son. Do half of mine. Yep. You good? Yep. You want me to walk the corn? Yeah, you go ahead and walk the corn. I'll, I'll walk what we just hit and just make sure it looks good. Children of the corn, you know? Oh, yeah. Sheesh. So Banjo's gonna walk the corn. I'm gonna walk what we just went over just to like make sure, but I'm not gonna put this whole bag. I'll probably put like a third of this bag over here because you know this is gonna take. It's looking real good. And then I'll dump about two thirds of my bag back in the corn because that would be awesome if we could have the corn in the middle. Even though the corn's not edible, it's more just cover at this point, right? Yeah. Like it's just mm -hmm. cover for them. You know, windbreak, they can feel a little bit. They're protected somewhat, I guess. I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. Let's get spread. Low key, feel like this was easier than using the tank. Cause you know it, what it's you're It's so doing. much more precise. Like I can hear the seeds hitting that knowing it's working. Yeah, yeah the tank might be a, just good for looks, but that's about it. That's gonna be the teal killing hole. I'm calling it right now. Shoo! I'm gonna smoke damn teal over there. Shoo! Look at this. The Waka Flockas, right here, baby. I knew I lost one of these guys. Ooh, I don't know if it's gonna work. No, it might. I remember we didn't have decoy cords. I do vividly remember losing one because they like would float around and stuff. That's like, what, eight months later? I don't know if it'll work. I'll have to take it home and try it. They spin really fast and they look like little like ducks and stuff splashing around. It's like a flashing thing. Call them the Waka Flockas, but hey, finders keepers, even though I bought it. How you feeling about the corn? My seed's good. Really? I got good seed. Do you have the stats to prove it? Because I do. Sheesh. I'm gonna have to do a test to make sure it's yours. Listen, pal. 
Are you done with the corn or are you still need to I keep mean, going? I've walked I've walked it like five times. Like over the same thing five times, you mean? Yeah, just like throughout. Oh, okay. It kinda sucks walking through it, but you know. Honestly, I'd rather have just walked it instead of done the tank. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean like, for normal, like where there's yeah. not it's yeah, just oh, walking through corn. I you know? see, I see. But yeah. yeah, oh it's way faster. It's it's faster and like way more precise. I don't know why yeah. we use the tank, but no. I thought it'd be cool, but yeah. not really. We'll see it, but Quite a bit. Same. I was gonna go rip that pocket because I want to make sure that pocket's yeah. got plenty. Do you think the corn's good enough? I'm not as concerned about the corn. Like I'd rather that have it than the corn, personally. I mean, I guess we do want to make sure we've got some near our north line though. You just want to do like that little pocket where remember there wasn't much and there was water over there. You just want to go try to do that with the rest of ours? Yeah, we could. What do you think? Yeah. Think we should hit, do you, should we hit this or just hit money. that corner? I, we can always come back. Yeah. I mean, that's just it. We can always buy more and come yeah. back. We didn't buy enough. I'd hit that since we know we have the good weather. Okay. For it to take. For it to take. Just make sure we get yeah. that. You have a little bit? Yeah, I have about the same as you. Go do that. I'll just walk over there and then you just drive the tank to us. We'll go check this side out. Sounds good. I think it's just a little pocket. I don't know if it'll. We're not. We're not sure if it'll take in this type of stuff. Dude, that's a lot of. I don't know if you call that thatch, but that's a lot of whatever that is. I don't want to waste too much money, but we do have this stuff. I don't know what this is. If this is what we thought was barnyard grass or millet last year, anything with a seed head, them ducks are gonna eat those. Especially, I mean, teal wise, they'll eat this stuff. We don't really want to knock it down. And this is wild. We didn't plant this. I don't even know what it is. We kind of just sprayed some of this in with it, and maybe this will be like a little food source for them. But we're thinking blind over there for the north, blind over there for the south, and we should be good to go. Well, we finally made it back. Been about a week, ladies and gentlemen, and we actually had to undo the canvas on that blind. Our, uh, the ducks trailer was not tall enough to fit it. Uh, we already put it on there. We had to undo it, and then we, we just left it at the house. So we at least brought the frame today. So we're just gonna unload it, and then we're gonna jump on the tank. As you can see, it is sunny and hot, which mixed with the rain we got last week, I'm hoping to see a couple of sprouts. Do you know what the germination period is for millet banjo? Grass, like fescue grass, is like seven to 14 days. It's been like seven. I feel like there's a chance. We might see some sproutage, we might not. We're gonna check on it. We might spread a little bit more. We also might see, I guess it's gonna be hard to navigate with all the crops. We might have to see if we can find a, a way to get back. We kinda wanna go scout all the old riverbed areas and see if there's anything low enough to plant milled out there. I know we've got our duck pond here that we've planted, but there might even be some shallow like mud sandbars that we could plant it on. And then like, even if we don't hunt there, it's just more food for the ducks and stuff like that. So let's get this sucker unloaded. I didn't see what it was. Did you see it, Zach? Uh-uh. There was yeah. a big woody. It was like right so here. I, so I, bet, there was, I bet there was water. We might have had a little too much rain, folks. Jeez. We planted some millet up here, though. It's going to be hard to see it in all this grass. I mean, there's a little sprouting stuff, but I guess I can't tell if that's millet. Really that's it. You think it is? It's just sprout. I mean, what else would it be, right? Like, yeah. it looks like grass. This little guy? Yeah, it's little sprouts. Yeah. What else would be sprouting? I mean, either that or just like this little grass. There's a little bud right there. Just a couple little ones. I mean, I don't know. I guess the question is, do you see any seed? And I don't. So yeah. it dissolved or did whatever seeds do, I guess, go into the dirt. It's kind of hard to tell. The, what he was, oh yeah, there is water over here. Oh my gosh. So where we were wanting all the millets, like now literally just water. There's a deer track right there. This should take rain. We might respread. I don't see a lot of rain in the forecast. It's like, we may spread some today and then maybe wait a few weeks and maybe it'll dry up and spread some more. We just want to make sure we get some growth. <laughs> we waited a little too long as far as like, not too long into the season, but too long. Like there's way too much rain essentially. Like yeah. this, that was dry yeah. when we were playing. Like, <laughs> there's just water now and maybe some of it will take but i doubt i bet our probability of it taking is less you know this though should take nice i would think you think we should just respread like this dry Ooh, yeah, like look at the coyote right there buddy but i don't out. think 
spreading millet on this one. I wouldn't put millet on that. Because if it dries, then we can come back in two weeks and do it. And we're not, you know, we're not too late into the season. I just, again, I want to make sure we have millet growing for ducks. Like that's the bottom line. We're overseeding essentially. This is all nice and soft. Like that seed, especially if we ran back over it, yeah. you know, it would pack it in quite a bit. I wonder what the corn looks like up in there. Yeah, because I planted a lot. Oh of yeah, I days. forgot the corn. Corn's high and dry because we were able to get tractors in here when this corn originally got planted. I mean, if there's a little growth in here, you would think it would be the millet. I don't see any little grass looking mm. things though. I guess I just don't know what baby millet. And there's other things besides Everything millet in here. Everything looks the same right now. Yeah, sure give them two weeks and then we can actually probably tell. I just don't see any seeds. So they're obviously doing something. Either they're washed away or they're starting to do millet things, I guess. Does it feel like there's a lot of corn stalks knocked down la from last time or was it like this? I guess I didn't walk it. Like these are all mowed down. Why is this all mowed down like that? We had a big storm come through. Is it getting brittle? Maybe it's getting a little brittle. Anyways, we'll respread some of these areas just to get some more down on the ground and then we're gonna get to exploring. You guys stay tuned. We got another bag put down. Who knows? It's our first time trying it. If you guys have any millet planting expertise tips, let me know if like you think it's gonna take for what we put down earlier. I'm just worried. You see all the water over there? Like the rain goes to one area, right? Like it all funnels. I'm worried it like took the seed with it. So we might get a good patch there if the seed can survive through the water. I guess I know millet's like decent with water. I'm just worried it washed. You know, it's like, you know, there's a hill and it kind of washes down. We're worried like the seed washed away. We tried to time it with a rain, thinking the rain wasn't gonna be seven inches of rain and it would just, you know, make it nice and soft and then the seed would just get pushed down like that and then it would germinate but uh yeah they again weathermen they got it figured out around here it was like record rains people were flooding and whatnot so i mean good news is when we put the well in here we, we're gonna put a well in a pump hopefully so we can actually like flip a switch turn this thing on this whole thing will be water hope we don't have to put as much in here because now there i mean there's already i don't know six to eight inches over there there's already like a foot over in that other trench you saw is kind of coming in so a little less water and i mean it's showing it'll hold some there's no way it's gonna hold less water than last year after having an entire winter to like freeze and thaw and you know naturally compact we really need to bring a dozer in here and pack it all down but it's been too wet we haven't been able to get a dozer in here so we're gonna go try to explore and maybe go find another spot to either plant millet or just kind of go check out the blinds that we got out there and see what else is going on for now this is good i think we're in decent shape we just got to make sure this millet can grow up but so far the duck pond's looking good let's go check out all of our other spots Zach just pointed this out. So Miller just looks like grass. Look at it growing. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah. gosh. Pull this forward. Just pull it forward like that. Bro, look at the millet strat So here. like, it doesn't need like dirt or what? Obviously not. It doesn't need dirt. That's millet. Right. It just looks like grass. So millet will literally grow in on plastic. If we don't grow millet, we suck. We are the world's worst farmers because it literally grew in plastic. There's no dirt. It was just moisture. It literally grew off moisture because this is damp. And it was dark in that shop. Yeah, it's dark. So it had the shade. Look at that. You think that'll take? Probably not. You just said that you're like, bro, there's millet growing out of the freaking tank. I can't believe it. Yeah, there's some on the other side too. Look at that. How do we not notice that? I mean, if it can grow there, I would assume that we would have a decent shot. I think a lot of our seed washed away, so I, I think what we just did just now is gonna help a lot. You can see like the seeds. Yeah, the still seeds are so, there. so so that might be. You think yeah, that's a different that, plant? I think that was the a different one. So this goes to show seven days. It'll. I mean, dude, you're getting three inches in seven days growing. Like, I mean, that's probably like prime. Yeah, you know, optimal conditions. Low, yeah conditions. So if we come back in a week or two and we don't see that, then we know we we got to figure out a different strat. I think in theory you would spray and kill all this and like not disc it but like you don't want a ton of other grass growing with it you think that's the same thing or no or is that just normal grass i don't know it looks similar how can you really tell yeah there's not really a way to tell time will tell yeah once it's taller once than it's taller than the other grass the so heads. i would say we'll, we'll probably give it like two weeks we'll come back if we're not like oh look at all that millet we'll probably throw down one more batch of it and maybe even bring in some type of drag or some type something just to kind of churn the soil just a hair just because like the seed is competing so much with all these other plants it ran so much now we can't get any we can't get the skid loader in here we can't get the excavator in here. We can't bring, I mean, obviously you have the tank. We're in a pinch. We have limited equipment to use to get this mill to grow. Now let's go check out the other spots. Shoo! Look at them lily pads, folks. Well, we made it to where we thought would be shallow. I think this rain's got everything filled with water. So this was mud last year. Two years ago, it was flooded, and we actually killed a lot of birds, like, in this area. Now it's, it's looking like there's a lot of water. So we're going to go take the tank down there and see how deep it is. What kind of bait would get... you throw in there if you're fishing? Oh, only the frog. Yeah, the filthy frog's got to be. I mean, does that not look like bass heaven? If only this was filled with bass, this would just be the I mean, ultimate place. It looks like place. teal heaven to me. It does look like teal heaven. Teal do like the lily pad strat as well. So, I mean, if this has water, it would give us another place to hunt teal. 
seal. Last year it was dry here. I remember walking yeah. out and it was like a straight mud, maybe a little bit of water, but it was mud. So I mean, honestly, we might have more places to hunt this year than we did last year just because of this rain, assuming it keeps raining. Otherwise, we'll probably go into a drought again. Anyways, let's see if this sucker floats. Hey, how you doing, Junior? You got it. Oh, it's time. Oh, shoot. We're cruising that one. It's a perfect, perfect death. Yeah. Look at this. We're cruising. Look at we could make it. We could make a hole. You Look. just spin around in this a couple times. Do a little, couple little donuts, and man, we could make some. Oh, it looks good over there, too. Man, we might have a lot of places to hunt this year. like to me coot city really yeah i'm getting excited now oh what well, look at that strat little woody semi-automatic trigger finger huh oh yeah well that was woody right yeah i, I, I right? Look, it looked like a woody i didn't even look at it oh uh, i thought it was a female I, I think it was yeah there wasn't a lot of color on it no big look, brown duck big brownie i would say well we're not planting anything we're done planting for the day, clearly, because this is nice and deep. But honestly, this is good for hunting. We're gonna hold a lot more birds this year than we did last year. Let's just put it that way. There's so much more water. There's so many other places to hunt. Like you said, we could put a blind off of that point. Yeah. We could hunt a north and look east wind. I mean, you would have you multiple multiple angles, almost like a peninsula. You got almost 360 water. I would say we're probably pretty good scouting wise. I mean, we'll have to come back obviously closer to duck season and you know see where the birds are. I know teal like this kind of stuff. We've hunted some marshes yeah. in the past that are similar to this with lots of big lily pads and seem to do pretty good. So anyways, there you have it, folks. We got a duck management done out of the way for now. We'll see. Let us know if you guys are millet experts. Let us know. Do you think that rain washed it away? Do you think the second planting was, was necessary or, or over? kill or not even enough do we need to hit it again or do we need to go in there and disc it up a little bit or do we need to spray the other weeds like let us know we're new to the millet game we're trying to get figured out how to get some stuff growing so let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below hopefully you guys at home enjoy today's video we'll catch you next one and peace